On one of my very first clinical rotations, I helped to take care of survivors from the Boston Marathon bombings. By then, we were seeing a thin silver lining. Everybody who survived the initial blast survived, thanks to getting care within the critical golden hour. But globally, this is astronomically rare. Each year, 18 million people die from conditions that surgery could have fixed. Postpartum bleeding, injuries, hernias, and the deaths and disability from lack of safe surgery is set to cost the world $20 trillion by the year 2030. Even when surgeries are available, conditions in field hospitals have such high infection rates that nobody, whether Kenyan hospitals or the US military, can actually safely do things like fix broken limbs. And it's no surprise when teams are fighting dust and flies getting into wounds as they're operating. But safe operating spaces are incredibly infrastructure heavy. They require safe electrical grids, ventilation systems, long-term skilled maintenance. But what if, instead of sterilizing an entire room, we can just protect the patient? We can seal a clear bubble against the patient's skin with the teams operating through ports, which also protects the providers from the blood splashes that infect 85,000 providers every single year. The clear plastic bubble is protected by a filtered laminate airflow system that is beyond state of the art. And everything runs off of batteries and components that fit inside a literal backpack. By shifting our perspective a little, we can bring safe surgery within the golden hour, anytime and any place that it's needed. Thank you.